What is up everybody, Dr. Bacon of the Dragon Peas here, and we are back with some more Minecraft through the ages. So, when we last left off, we had built our little humble abode right here up on the little hilltop, and we made it through our first night successfully, only with minor wounds. So today I had a couple of tasks I wanted to get done before the sun goes down. Uh, one of which is to heal my wounds, and the other is to prevent further ones. And fortunately, we have both of those things right here. So first of all, I want to kill a pig and get some food. Because those health... Yeah, those hearts are not going to heal themselves, and that is perfect. Alright. So, I could eat these both raw. I'm not going to. It will be a little wasteful to cook with them and then eat one. But it would be more... Okay, I was like, why do I hear flowing water? I was going to say it would... Sorry, my my brain just totally went to another universe there. It would be a little wasteful to cook and eat one, but it would be a lot more wasteful to eat them both. So, with that out of the way, I want to get some sand, get some glass. Now, we don't need very much. Those wide-open, kind of bay-style windows are I can't decide I don't think I'm gonna put glass in those uh, first of all the reason they're so wide open is because they're actually in a spot where nothing can get to me a skeleton can jump here all at once and as far as I know it won't be able to shoot me and nor can anything get in but the other two are the problem however it would look kind of clashy to have glass on some and not on all of them. So we'll we'll decide how it looks. First we need a furnace, which has this interesting uh, top texture. It's just the the same as a normal piece of stone. And, and we'll cook the sand first. The pork can wait. I'm not desperately dying with three hearts missing. So actually while we're doing some housekeeping I guess let's go ahead and get some more wood and we can actually get rid of the dirt in in the home um, we, we don't need dirt walls that was acceptable for the first night but come on okay much better and actually what we can do is, so these these are these weird scattered holes because I knew, and it, I think it happened actually, um, I don't remember, it might not have, uh, but I know that spiders could in theory get up here, and if it was like this, then that would be bad. But I do still want the sunroof slash moonroof slash whatever. So actually, let's take this glass and there we go. Beautiful. And then as far as windows go, actually, I think I'm going to change the style of these windows because they're kind of in wonky positions, as y'all can tell. And the reason for that was actually because I wanted to be able to hide. Uh, if I would put them here, here, and here, it would have been a bit, well, it would have been, in some ways it would have been easier, in some ways it would have been harder. Either way, I thought it would have been more difficult to hide. Um, but now we can actually put them in sensible places because nothing's going to be shooting us. Actually, we can even just make this whole thing a window. But I still want to leave these wide open for now. We might change that, but... And I'm getting a little carried away with windows, but I just... I like being able to see outside. You know, if it weren't for the fact that the glass in Minecraft is pretty ugly, I would have no qualms with my house just being a big glass box. Just to be able to see out from all sides. Yeah, this does look pretty weird, but I just, I don't like the look of glass coming to the edges, but I do like having it be this open. So I think we're going to leave it like this for now. If anyone has a meltdown in the comments, then, then maybe I'll change it. I don't know. But okay, just with a couple of, of, of basic simple tasks and about like five minutes, we've really made a house into a home. 
This definitely feels a lot more like a home than, than it did last episode. Ah. Dirt walls, what are you going to do? So actually, the other thing is, we killed enough spiders last episode that we can make a bow. And we actually have quite a few arrows. Which is good. Alright, now we have a bow. And actually, I, I did check. Last episode, I went and tried to make wool like this. And, you know, with another string there, and it didn't work. But I think, I didn't I didn't check this exact version, but I was looking at some logs. And I think you can make wool out of string. I just think it needs nine instead of instead of four. I think you need to fill a crafting table. Which, again, is entirely unnecessary because sheep are everywhere. Alright. So now we have a bow. We don't have anything in particular to do with it at the moment. Um, I do not feel like going out and fighting things tonight. I know it, it, it can be easy to to get uh, a little puffed up because, you know, that's a thing I can do now. Um, but I'm still not going to be super brave. On the other hand, if we can get some more food and get some leather, I'm not going to be able to make any armor, I don't think. But and there's my spawn, which I think for some reason I was thinking was that way. But my spawn's over there. I need to keep that in mind. Spawn is... Is... Uh, slightly... Um, northwest. I think north. That should be north. Yeah, that's north. And the sun is setting. So I'm going to kill a couple more piggies. And then I'm going to get inside for the night. Because again... I may be more confident now that I have a bow and, and such things, but I'm not that brave. We have a fair bit of food, but not enough to be running around. Okay, it's it's getting dark. Let's go. Let's go. Get some more wool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. It doesn't have any practical uses, but it's fun. It's soft. It's pleasant. Got a chicken down there. So a couple, well, one person, but what that was 33% of the comments. Uh, someone asked about the waypoint system or and how often we'll be updating. I, I don't know. That will depend on my progress. It will depend on what the next waypoint will add, stuff like that. I imagine at this point, our next uh, update will probably be in uh, a couple of episodes, maybe even an episode after next, but I'm not sure. Depends on where we are and how things are going. So, now we can see how our, our new and improved home fares against the invaders. And we can do some inventory management while we're here. That can go away, that can go away. Exactly a stack of dirt, we'll leave half of that. So one of the things I actually want to do, maybe this episode, depends on how much time we have left, is I want to, oh, hi. Music, you are beautiful, but you are loud. Oh, my ears just, just, we're not happy about that, that arrangement. Um, I want to go over to my spawn and light it up. And I want to put a chest there with some supplies, um, just in case I die. That way I have a chance of getting back. I'm not going to make a full lit pathway or anything like that at this point but I want to give myself a fighting chance with some, like a sword and some food and maybe even a pickaxe just in case I die in a cave. The odds of getting my stuff back will still be low, but they won't be non-existent. All right, we've got some food. It's technically heal four, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat one. Waste one heart, but that's okay. I'd rather, rather that than have a creeper wipe me off the earth when I could have lived. Not seeing much activity outside at the moment, which is not a terrible thing. Let's take a look. I love that song. I love all Minecraft music, and the old music still is around as far as I know, but I I like it back when 
I like it when that's the only music, because the new music is still good, but there's just something really endearing about it. We're going to go ahead and make another sword, just in case this one breaks sometime soon. Not seeing much. Um, this is, of course, the other advantage of having this, is I, I can't... I can't uh, stick my 3D camera out the window if it's made of glass. Am I on peaceful for some reason? No, I'm on hard. If I was on peaceful, I would have been regenerating. Um, I think. Huh. Yeah, it is really quiet. I know I said that last night too, but... Oh, there's a zombie, okay. Yeah, I hadn't seen anything spawn, and that's definitely unusual. This is very strange. I wonder if there's, like, some underground giant cavern that everything's spawning in that's, like, keeping more stuff from spawning. I don't think that's how that works, but this is just really unusual. Normally, nighttime on hard is just... Full of baddies just everywhere. Oh, here comes a spider. And if this were wide open, he'd be jumping at my face. Ha! I got you. And glass breaks really fast, so I don't want to do that too much. Alright, now we just wait it out. Kill anything that comes too close. If we can. Maybe I'll make some murder holes. Maybe that's what I'll do. It'd be kind of tricky though with without like ripping up my entire floor. So I don't think I want to do that right now. Maybe we'll at some point, but when we expand, if we expand, if, if this becomes a more permanent residence, I will make some murder holes. In the meantime, do I want carpet? Nah. I don't have enough to do that right now anyways. Okay, so actually, instead of just sitting around twiddling my thumbs, I'm going to start preparing. So I want, and I know it wouldn't it's unwise to give away all of my food right now, but I want at least three cooked pork chops. I want a sword and a pickaxe in that chest, and I want some torches. Um, I want to basically, the idea is to be able to spawn... And even if it's nighttime, have a fighting chance at getting home or getting to a cave or getting wherever. Uh, that's what the pickaxe is for, is if I'm in a cave and I need to do some digging down. Um, that's that's the idea. Whether or not it will ever actually come in handy, I don't know. I can't really say. Hopefully it never will, because hopefully I'll never die. But, you know, you know how those things work. So, let's make another pick. And we'll make another sword. And the sun is coming up. And we will very, very tentatively step outside. Because I saw all those creepers running around. Oh, there's a skeleton right there. I'm glad I didn't step out earlier. He would have gotten a free pot shot on me. Yes. Yes. Burn! Add to my arrow collection! Alright. Get back. Hold on. No, 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 no. Don't even think about it. Oop. Get back. Get back. There we go. I think I saw another spider or something. A lot of cows. A lot of cows. Okay. We'll do some more killing, because I want some, some armor. Would be would be nice. It doesn't last very long. Uh, but it will it will help me in in taking a couple more hits in a pinch, if I end up running through the night for some reason. 
Oh, there's my sword. There we go. Five, that's a that's a helmet. Let's get some more pork to make up for the pork I'm about to put in a chest and hopefully never see again. It's not very realistic, but again, I can dream. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and get over there. It's a bit of a walk. Now, I am uncertain about boats. Yes, okay. I couldn't remember. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and get over there. It's not much faster than walking, but it is faster. My arm is broken, as is natural. Um, having trouble maintaining speed. I know it doesn't go as fast, but... Okay. Let's try not to crash, try not to crash, try not to crash. Oh, and it crashed. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, so this is where I built my tower. So I'm assuming I spawned on some of this sand somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and make a chest. Put it right here. Uh, no. Right here. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Some walking glitch there. We'll put a pickaxe, a sword, and three cooked pork. That way, if I die, assuming of course I know the way home or can see home actually because I can't even see it from here. If I die, I have a chance. I'm not just going to get killed over and over again by, by something. Obviously, I only have one set here, so... If I die again, then, well, I tried. All right, down of the way. Let's let's kill some more cows. It looks like there's quite a few on this little island, which maybe isn't an island actually. I kind of dismissed it as a little resort, but now that I'm coming over here and things have rendered more, no, it is. It's basically an island, it just it's cut off by a river, it looks like. Or maybe not. Does that not cut through? I, I can't see. Hold on. Now I'm curious. Well first let me kill these cows. And then I'm curious if that cuts through or not, because if not, then this may actually be a bigger continent than than the one I moved to. There's a giant mountain over there, it looks like. I mean, obviously, even the river is small enough that that it doesn't make a practical difference, but I'm curious if it's actually cut in half or not. That is a cool-looking mountain. That is cool. Uh, yes, okay. It is, it is cut off by this river-looking thing. So, technically, this is a tiny island. It's just not really. Like, it's, it's cut off by a river. On, on both sides. Why don't we pick some flowers? What could go wrong with a few flowers? Okay. Alright. We got a fair bit of leather. We've set up our, our station. We got some more pork. Let's head home. All right, onwards, and we'll need to get some more wood when we get back because that was the rest of my wood. And I should be seeing my home any second now. I think it's over there. Actually, you know what? I don't think I can see it through those trees. I think it's gonna be hiding behind those trees. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to see it. Yeah, see, I see the wooden planks now. Let's wrap around.
Let's see what we're looking at here. This is like a little bay that I. Okay. Okay. For a second, I thought my sound had broken. It's just, it's just so quiet now on a boat. All right. Got a little boat docked here. If I try to leave again, it'll probably explode, but that's, uh, that's boats for you. Okay. Let's get a little bit more wood. Like for all the wood I just used. And how long have I been recording? Sorry about this. Uh, fair, fair while. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get this, and then I think we're going to go ahead and call it quits for the day. Got a... Uh, apologies. It's been a long day. We got a fair bit done. Uh, I don't know what I want to do next episode. Possibly expand my house. Maybe find a place to build a more permanent house. I'm, I'm not sure. I think it'll probably be that one. I think we're going to do some more exploring. We'll look around here, see where I want to build. Maybe build some stations, and hopefully find our way home safely. Obviously, uh, the sun is is going down, so I may even just start the next episode at the next morning. That way you guys aren't sitting through another night, and I probably cut out a good chunk of last night because it just wasn't very eventful. I mean, even without the glass windows, there just wasn't anything spawning. But yeah, I think that's about it. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if there's anything you want me to, you want me to do, anything you want to see next episode or in the coming days. Let's go ahead and make a chest plate and a helmet. All right, hopefully I can take a few more hits now. I've always felt like leather armor looked more like clay, you know? Like it looks like like a, like a ceramic armor is, is what it looks like to me. All right, I'll probably cook the, the pork between uh, next episode, and between now and next episode and get my inventory a little more organized, maybe make some more tools. But yeah, let me know what you want to see. Thank you for watching. This is Dr. Bacon. I will see you all later. <laughs>